Hello and welcome to this new Let's Play of the pa on this channel, uh, The Legend of Heroes: Trails from Zero. With me, SLJ RPG. Um, I'm excited to get into this. If you don't know who I am, I'm a British Let's Player with awful, awful pronunciation. I play a lot of Japanese role-playing games um, here on the channel. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe, and, and maybe join me along for this journey. Uh, I have already. If you're watching this fresh, uh, I've done all of the Trails from the Sky trilogy, very much enjoyed that. Loved first chapter, loved second chapter, particularly liked the third chapter. I know that's a controversial topic, but I did, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed all the story. But I'm super excited to get into this cross spell arc. Um, so, we're playing this Trails from Zero, obviously with the Geo Front patch installed. Luckily, a couple of days ago, they announced that they were completed with the sequel to this in the crossbow, like Trails to Azure as well. Um, I'll put a link in the description to their page, you know, support them if you can, give them the monies, etc, etc. But I think, without any further, we should just be doing this. We're just going to go for normal, but let's get into this. As I know, we're going to get four new characters to learn. I only know one of their names. Well, Tio. It is as I feared. The higher elements, time, space, and mirage are indeed present. The same as in Phantasma. Just like the tower in the temple. I feared as much. This will be a difficult operation. Guess this means we're running a more supernatural scum. Man, I'm getting chills down my spine already. Understood. Knowing our enemy, they'll try to ambush us. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. Roger. Right. Yes. I'm excited. Ooh, that's what you already have control here. Lloyd, Ellie, and Tio uh, are... Uh, are... Uh, are... Things here. And I can interact with weapons here, which is also pretty goddamn cool. So... Let's go. We've got no explanation, but I'm guessing these are the four characters that we're going to be going with. Thing. I want to explore everything. I don't want to miss out on any content. That seems like it's blocked. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm because because we're level forty. Maybe I'm jumping out of my uh, station just a little bit. But what have we got here? What in the world? Ooh. A deep down dark dungeon. This shaft looks never ending. Where could it lead? From here I'm guessing it's at least a good 50 arc deep. Man, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get all the way down there. Uh. Teal, what's wrong? Are you alright? You look so pale. I am fine. It's just that this place triggered some unpleasant memories. Of that place you mentioned before? You mean those bastards hide out at the Republic's western border? Yes. Maybe the chef was built by the stairway st was built to be a staircase towards Gehenna, where Adios was renounced and devils were worshipped. And to gain their trust, they sacrificed humans under the veil of ceremonies. Disgusting. It explains that stench. In that case, I think our mission is clear. For the sake of those who helped us come this far, and for the girl who's waiting for us to come, it's our duty to shatter these twisted delusions and bring them to light. We'll put an end to all this suffering they've caused. Lloyd. She's Lloyd. If it ain't the smell here, it's gonna off me. It'll be one of your cheesy speeches. But I'm with you on this one. Let's give them hell. Same here. Our enemy is like a spider, hiding in the shadows and pulling st the strings of its web. But we've come a long way. We can bring them to justice. Indeed. We cannot be defeated. Alright, time to get going. Let's make it official. Lloyd Bannon's and the four members of Crossbow Police. Oh, I'm a policeman. Crossbow Police Department Special Support Section. We'll now commence infiltration and settle the case once and for all. My guess is that all Boros are at, at somewhat fault here. Miskide? Whatever that means. As we are now on a train. Okay. Huh? Where am I? Alright. 
I said goodbye to my aunt and uncle and double-checked all my luggage and boarded the train. And... Are you alright, my dear? You jolted right awake. You look like you were having a nightmare. Are you feeling okay? Oh no, I'm fine. She's still sleep deprived, that's all. I had a strange dream, though. A dream, eh? Were you perhaps being swarmed by hordes of sexy ladies? <laughs> what? No, I can't say it was that good of a dream. Uh, please don't. Enough. Please don't tease the poor boy, dear. How about a cool lemonade to perk you up? I have some chilled inside this bottle. If you don't mind. Glug, glug. Ah. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. I'm feeling better already. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Judging by appearance, you aren't Adabonian. You must be from Crossbell, right? Oh, yes, sir. I lived abroad for a while, but I'm moving back to the city again. Speaking of which, are you two also from Crossbell? Yep, took the trip to the Republic, and now we're on our way back now. If you're coming back from living abroad, I doubt you'd even recognize Crossbell. Indeed. The city has changed drastically over the last two or three years. I thought that might be the case. I did pass through the city a few times by train since I moved away. They've really added a lot of high rises, haven't they? They have. After all, Crossbell's always been a leading trade city in Demoria. Crossbell's ever-growing finance sector has made foreign investors more willing to provide funding for development. This trend has only continued to skyrocket after the non-aggression pact was signed a little more than a year ago. Which means we are a year ahead of the end of uh, Sky the Third. Department stores, office buildings, with mirror investments pouring in, these places popped up all over the city. Sure, these new facilities are huge convenience, but people still struggle to adapt to the city's rapid growth. Everyone's always busy with this or that, as if we've become slaves to time and mirror. Hmm. Hey, pardon us. It's been a while since you saw your hometown. We didn't mean to ruin your return. Please, no harm done. My friend told me similar things in his letters. But no matter how much it may change, Crossbell's my home. Of course. Impressive sentiment coming from someone your age. Compared to, your bright, to a bright young man like you, these new elected politicians are just... Blech. Well, they'll side with the Empire or the Republic. They're nothing but a bunch of megalomaniacs. Can't trust anyone except for old Mayor McDonald. McDowell, sorry. Dear, calm down. Sorry about that. He tends to get carried away when it comes to politics. It's fine. These are good details to know. Sure, you can't get a Crossbell Times. You, sure, you can get the Crossbell Times internationally. But I'd rather hear about current fans firsthand. So Crossbell, if I remember from the first three games of this Legend of Heroes series, is a state situated in between the Republic of Calvert and the Empire of Erebonia. Um, almost a, a deep financial, uh, a financial state, it seems, where trade happens. It sounds a little bit like Switzerland. So... We're going to Switzerland, guys. <laughs> oh, another cr avid cross times reader, eh? They might have cover every passing fad, but they write some impressive articles every once in a while. I wish they'd dive a little bit deeper into the issues with the Crossbell diet, though. Seems like Crossbell's still facing a bunch of problems. Oh. I am pumped! I am excited for this, guys. A whole new area to explore in Zamoria. For two whole games. It's gonna be good. Attention all passengers. We will be arriving in Crossbell City shortly. Passengers bound for Liberal and Rimferia by airship. Please make your way to the airport upon arrival. Additionally, per Samurian Railroad Corporation bylaws, this train will remain at Crossbell Station for 30 minutes upon arrival. Passengers bound for Erebonia, please have your entry application ready for, inspe for the inspection officer. Sounds like we're almost there. I'd rather not see it as Imperial Argy Mugs, so let's get off as soon as we can. Will do. Uh, it's been three years since then. I made sure to keep in contact with Cecil, but... Hmm. It seems like there's a bit more of a... Uh, a a, uh, a bias towards the Republic, which I find unsurprising. Uh, guys, Cecile, I'm finally back. Bad across, well, our home. Hmm. I'm wondering if any people are going to 
pop up. There was no people from Crossbell, but Ren, if I remember correctly, was here. I'll let this play out. I'm doing a little dance. There's a dog. It's very important. And there's Randy being Randy, reading a hot shot. Don't know who you are. Don't recognize any of you. You look like Neil. Here's the question. We get four people in our party, which is good. Are we going to have... Is there, there going to be other characters? I want the dog. Nice. <laughs> Guys, I'm such fucking... <laughs> I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs> a weeby nerd. So, the prologue special support section. <sighs> I'm wondering what has happened to the... Uh, Battle system. We're here at Crossbell Station. If anything has changed. We see a bunch of NPCs making their way out. We see our boy Lloyd. Crossbell Station. It appears the old couple are, are following us. We're here at Station Street. Ying Set. Armory department store there. Kind of reminds me of the aesthetic of Final Fantasy VII, but obviously these slightly chibi like models. Central Square. Here's a question Is Crossbell simply a, a city, a state? Or is there so much more than that? Well, things really have changed. You can hardly even recognize the shops. What's that building over there? That's the Orbital store. It opened just last year. They handle everything from the latest Orbital devices to Orbital cars. They got doodads from Erebonia, Calvert, Liberal, even Epstein. You name it, they've got it. That's pretty impressive. You know what? I've also noticed a lot more cars on the streets. You would hardly see them three years ago. You're sharp, but even you know they're only ever used by big first. Luckily for us, public transportation has removed, improved dramatically over the years. It takes 30 minutes to reach the hospital south by bus. How convenient. It's amazing how much can change in just three years. Well, let's say our goodbyes here. You still have to report in for your job, right? Alright. Let me carry your luggage home, at the very least. Ah, oh, we could never ask you to do that. The last thing we want is for you to be late on your first day of work. 
she's right. No matter what you do, first impressions last. Remember that, son. Okay, I give up. You make a good point. Well, that reminds me. Seeing as you return, do you have a place to stay? If you don't, I can introduce you to an inn over on East Street. Lovely place. I appreciate the author, but I already have accommodations set up. My things have probably arrived there by now, too. Oh, you don't say. Well, the two of us live near the end of East Street. Feel free to drop by in case you need anything. Be more than happy to lend you a hand. Thanks, I'll remember that. Once I'm settled in, I'll make sure to stop by. Of course. Take our care, lad. Hope to see you soon, dear. Hmm. A lot to ponder. Is yes, is Crossbell a city-state? I know it's meant to be smaller than Libro, I think. Wait a minute. So, it's still in one piece. One of Crossbell times moved and it's something that's decrepit by now. Sure bring back memories. It really sticks out next to all these new buildings as well. Does it? Well, better get a move on. Lloyd took out a letter from his pocket. Officer Lloyd Bannings, you have been assigned to Crossbell Police Station Department's Special Support Section, or Triple S. Please report in for duty on the designated date, CPD HR Department. Special Support Section. I don't remember that name ever popping up during my time at the Academy. I wasn't even sent a uniform. I wonder what kind of division it's supposed to be. <coughs> well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Good thing the police department hasn't moved since I was last here. All right, let's do this. As we're here at CPD. Crossbell Police Department. It's definitely not my first time here. Hard to believe that this is going to be my workplace from here on out. Well, enough standing around. I should go introduce myself to the receptionist. As we get control. Ooh, what does this do? Sub. That cannot be used right now. Status. Lloyd Bennings has a tiger charge and axle. Right. Ooh. Getting used to all of the things. We obviously get augments here as well. Striker leather vest, boots. I'm going to have to get used to what all the things are because it's slightly different. Nice. We've got state map. Okay, so there is more than just the city. That is good to know. Good to know. Tactics we'll get to. But let's go ahead and speak to our receptionist here. Good day, and welcome to the Crossbell Police Department. How can I help you? Um, well, my name is Lloyd Bennings. Today's my first day on the job. It's nice to meet you. Oh, is that right? That's wonderful. I'm always happy to see new members joining the force. But for... This is pretty abnormal. There's no information in the system about a new recruit coming for assignment today. Are you sure you weren't supposed to be a... Go to Crossbell Guardian Force? Yeah, I'm positive I've been assigned to the Crossbell Police Department. If you need proof, I can show detec detective qualifications I entered the police academy. Oh, you managed to pass the detective exam? That's amazing. It's not every day you see a newcomer this qualified. It's not a big deal or anything. I'm just sure I, pretty sure I just got lucky. And besides, apparently was the only person who took the exam this time. Oh, come on. No need to be so modest. But it really is bizarre. We should have notified of your assignment already. Pardon me for asking, but do you know what division you've been assigned to? Oh, about that. I think it's called something like the Special Support Section. The Special Support Section? Do we even have Division with that name? Wait, it doesn't even exist? Please wait a moment. I think I've heard that name somewhere. I'm having a hard time remembering. Ugh. Ah, you made it. I like the bonsais. Ah, Chief Sergei. I can take it from here, Fran. He's one of the recruits from my division. Oh, he is? Well, is that the name of your new division you're starting? Yep, yeah, I look forward to working with you. Then again, who knows if this team will last for more than six months. <laughs> Sir? I'm Sergei Lu, chief, chi chief of the Special Support Section. So you're a light, huh? 
Yes, sir. M my name's Lloyd Bannings. Reporting for Judy to Crossbell, the police department special support. Hold the formalities for now. What? It's still early for re reporting in for your assignment. Just me, your new part is awaiting. W wait? Well, best of luck. Sounds like you might have some trouble, but hard work, and, but work hard, and surely you'll be fine. Thanks. My nerves are starting to kick in. Interesting. Oh. Would you look at that? Our big star has finally arrived. <sighs> Sorry for the wait, everyone. Here's our last member. Don't get. Just don't just stand there. Introduce yourself. All right. Um. All three of them look too young to be senior officers of the CPD. Are they also rookies. Then again, that girl looks like she's too young to even be part of the force. Hey. Gus, cotton got stuck in your ears. It ain't hard, kid. Just give your name where you're from. Uh, sorry. My name is Lloyd Bennett. I was born in Crossbell. So recently I've been living abroad. But I've decided to return home in pursuit of joining the CPD. I look forward to working with all of you. Oh. So you're a serious type. I'm Randy. Randy Orlando. My hobbies include fairing with lovely ladies, gambling, checking out sex in your mags, like hotshot, you know, that kind of stuff. Remind me later and I'll let you peek at some of my prize collections, when this is all said and done, yeah? He's a creep. You're what? Um... Pleased to meet you. My name is Ellie McDowell. I'm Chris Bellion, much like yourself. I look forward to working with you, the mayor's daughter. Likewise. Tia Plato, Lemon State. Pleasure to meet you. We've been to Lemon State previously before in the in the trials games. Yeah, you too. Um, choose Sergey. What is it? I'm learning. What exactly is the special support section? It's clear that as day that everyone here is fairly young, myself included. Yeah, we're in a unique situation here. After all, everyone at this table is a promising newcomer to the force, just like you. That should calm your nerves, yeah. I guess so. Is it okay for? Is it really okay for a police division? I, for one, am extremely grateful we don't have any pre jail timers bossing us around. Hmm. <laughs> what in the world is this? Can't shake this bad feeling I've got about all this. Sergey here. Is that so? Appreciate it. People have got mobiles now. Is that a portable communication device? Hard to believe technology like that has already been developed. Roger that. We can handle things from there. Alright, Greenhorns, time to perk up. You wanna know what kind of responsibilities the SS S is gonna have, right? I imagine this little mission will give you a good idea. Get ready for a hell of a ride. Down there? Why, the underside of Station Street. What could possibly be here? Sell like he had something lined up for us to do. Don't tell me he's expecting us to clean this place up or something. Hmm. Tia doesn't talk. That's what I've learned already. I like the way Randy dresses. Behind the door is Geofront. A ah, child Geofront. A vast network of tunnels running underneath Crossbell City. Your mission is to make your way through it. What? You want us to go in there? Yeah, what's this have to do with anything? For starters, it'll serve as a test to evaluate your combat skills and herbal aptitude. Geofront is home to some pretty weak monsters. It's your job to dispose of them and reach the deepest section. That makes more sense. A combat test, huh? Fine by me. Wait a second. Tests are not. Why are we the ones going into an area infested with monsters? Isn't that a job for the Guardian Force? I'd admit this isn't your typical outing as a detective. But you're members of the SSS, making it a different story altogether. Come again? We'll talk to you those later. First things first. Sergei handed over some kind of portable device to Lloyd and the others. Would this be? Oh, a new tactical open model, perhaps? D 
damn, it's pretty slick, I like it. A fifth generation tactical augment, the Enigma. It's finally ready for combat? I guess so, Foundation shipped them out a couple of days ago. Oh, and they've already been adjusted to fit your individual aptitudes. As how I use them, till you're up. If I must. You were also supplied with the quartz for this particular model? Yeah, not much, but here you go. Received a quartz of each type. Oh, you won't get far without this. Geofront AK. Come back to headquarters once you're taking care of the monsters. We'll talk more after that. Alright, better hand these over to you. Detective notebook. Combat notebook. About the detective notebook. The special support section automatically records events that happen throughout the game in a detective notebook. Check the contents by selecting detective notebook, opening items from the camp menu while pressing B left in the field. That's cool. So that's what that's for. That's dope. You can also read the manual, so please check it out. About the combat notebook. Automatically records data of each enemy you have fought within the combat notebook. Detective notebook, you can view the contents by selecting once and going right. Wait, you're leaving us here, Chief? Oh, right, sweet light. I'm making you the leader for now. Me? You're the only certified detective here, so... Good luck, kids. <laughs> I guess you drew the short end of the stick. I find it reassuring to have a proper detective on the team. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Detective Bannings. Same, but can we drop the formalities? I think we're about the same age and we're both rookies. I suppose. I'm 18. Myself. I had a feeling. So am I. What about you two? I'm 21. But you would never catch me caring about from rallies. Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Ellie. It's a pleasure. Yeah, likewise. I suppose that leaves you. Would you mind telling us? 14. Will that be a problem? <laughs> I liked it already. No. No, of course not. 14? Ah, uh, so you do have a problem with it. She looks the part, doesn't she? It's hard to believe you've already a police officer at that age. No backup. That doesn't make any sense, no matter how you look at it. You have to be at least 16 before you can join the police force. How can someone who's barely graduated from Sunday school become a police officer? Because I am not one, sickly speaking. I was transferred here by the Epstein Foundation for testing purposes. Come again? Didn't Epstein make these ornaments we just got? Oh, I think I understand. You've heard that Crossbell City has been cooperating with the Foundation on a large-scale projects for several years. Correct. Orbital Network Project. While I do have some connection to that, the reason for my transfer is this. And that's... A mechanical staff? It's Golden Orbital Staff. I was transferred to test this weapon's effectiveness in real combat scenarios. Do you understand now, Lloyd? Back up just a moment. You're telling me you're gonna fight with this thing? For a certified detective, you sh you are exceptionally slow. I believe I made myself clear. What do you fail to comprehend? Um, come on, guys. Bickering like this won't get us anywhere. Don't know exactly how dangerous this geothunk thing will be. So how about we come with a strategy before we head in? I'm not sure how I feel about all of this, but we should focus on not focus on our mission. You're right. Arguing is pointless. Sorry, Teo. If I offended you in any way, please accept my apologies. It is fine. The reaction was justified, given the situation. Now, back on topic. As I said, I will be utilizing my orbital staff to fight. What weapons do you three use? My weapon of choice? Well, I specialize in these. Okay, police... like, the... I forgot what they're called. Some sort of police badness? Tarfers, eh? That's what they're called. That's an Eastern weapon. I heard they're specifically designed for self-defense and suppression rather than offense. I see. Finding for a choice, a fitting choice to a police officer then. I tried other weapons, but these felt the most natural. So what about you, Ellie? Randy? I'll be using this. A gun. A noble gun. It appears slightly dated though. Maybe, but you can't deny its charm. <clears throat> It's something I continue to have customized for competitive purposes. It may be an oldie, but it's the pre precision is unparalleled. Not bad, not bad. Now let me introduce you to my partner in crime. Fuck yeah, axe. Okay, Randy's already winning his way into my heart. That's quite a large weapon. It looks like the halberds used by the knights during the Middle Ages. I have seen these in the Foundation's factories. It is equipped with a unit that converts orbital energy into shockwaves. 
Bingo. This baby's called a stun halberd. Its weight can make it difficult to get a hang off, but it's unmatched in terms of raw power. Impressive. While I still don't know quite quite know how Teo's staff works yet. I think overall we make a pretty good balanced team. I think so too. It's probably the reason why the four of us put in this team in the first place. Chief may look like a bum, but there's more to him than meets the eye. I concur. Before I explain how it is my opal staff functions, I should have first explain how our tactical orbits work. Go for it. That'd be great. Very well. Basically, orbit is a device that uses orbital energy to generate various phenomena. For simple lighting, cooling, heating systems, to engines that power cars and trains, all of them require energy output by orbits. The so-called tactical orbit is essentially a small portable orbit that is specifically designed to be used in combat. The ones we received are the newest models, which were developed by the Epstein Foundation. Like its predecessors, it functions by drawing power from crystal circuits called quartz. Quartz are created by processing, by processing septium fragments known as sepith. Once made, they can be placed into actual ordnance. Didn't Chief Sergei hand some to you before you left? Indeed. All we have to do is set them into slots in our ordnance. The elemental value and combination of quartz will determine which orbital arts are available to the user. Arts can be more effective than melee attacks, depending on the monster. That's why we should probably configure each of our ordnance before tackling a geofront. There's something to keep in mind when we're engaging when while we're engaging in combat. Even the brace go to Guardian Force use them. No reason why we shouldn't, eh? Uh, is there gonna be a brace there must be a brace go to here. One more thing. Tackle orbits are fine tuned to each individual user, meaning the circuit layout varies from person to person. For example, some slots are restricted to quartz with specific elemental attribute. These sympath lines may differ as well. If we open our orbits, we can see that they are not identical. As for arts, it will be better to learn about those during actual combat, so I will stop my explanation here. Thanks, Teo. You've really cheered things up. You are welcome. I got a quick question. These new orbits are pretty much just fancy older models, right? Crude, but yes. If you're familiar with the older generations, there should be not much dif much of a difference. The only major difference is from the older model is an additional function. Ooh, and what would that be? It is unnecessary for this job, so explaining that would be a waste of time and energy. Let us instead focus on the task at hand. Alright then. That just makes me even more curious. Let's make our shore armaments are ready before we head into the geofront. Once all of us set our quartz, we'll get our first mission underway. Understood. Time to pop in some quartz. Please set quartz for each of your party member's ornaments. Do that by selecting ornament from the camp menu and selecting quartz. A noteworthy beginning. You've entered earned the noteworthy beginning achievement in a detective notebook. As you can see, during the game, you may unlock achievements when fulfilling certain conditions. Unlocking achievements will net you points that you can use to unlock various features after clearing the game. You can check achievements by selecting record under systems in the camp menu. Nice, nice, nice. So, we're going to go ahead and look at some of these. Interesting. So, these guys have more things. So, we can only have put a fire onto Randy there. We can put a water on to Tio there. Wind there and then I suppose we have to give a defense to old Lloyd Banningsy here but I suppose that makes sense in his thing so then we've got the art list here for everyone stone spike icicle edge is a new one and sparkler is a new one as well hmm that's cool and then this if we go here prologue help manual nice 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 Exploring Geofront is our next mission. And we are definitely part of the police department. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, let's check out everyone's equipment. Ingrid, Researcher, High Pressure. And we know already that we don't have any things. What happens if we try and leave? Our first assignment is basically your standard cover test. Let's head into the Geofront until we can't go any deeper. And I think this is probably a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this episode, I'll see you guys next time for our first mission with these four peeps. Peace.